Hi, here we are again at Quilters Headquarters, and Chris and I just found yet another use for our awesome quick trim ruler. So I am at the point now where I've sewed my binding on, and now we need to join the two ends. So this is part of a takeoff that you can see on our website as well, where Jean a few years ago figured this out, which is pretty ingenious. So we take a piece of our binding, and lay it just perpendicular on the quilt here. We draw a line here. Don't know if you can see it or not, but we draw a line there. We lay the other piece over and draw a line here. And we're going to cut off at those lines. Okay, so we're going to use our quick trim ruler to make that cut to straighten it out. And then here, too, where we did our line, right there. And this, of course, you all you quilters know how to do this, but just find a line there and cut it straight. I know this is scary. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to take our quick trim ruler. Just like I showed you in our previous video, your inside corner, so I've got my white line here and here, and lay it right there. Trim that. And then, this one gets a little trickier because I've got to turn it this way for us to be able to see it and be right-handed, kind of. So I'm again laying this one this way, and I'm going to cut, do as I say, not as I do as far as safety. Ah. Okay, I'm just having trouble cutting backwards. Don't do this at home. You all know me better. Okay, now. We don't have to draw any lines. We're just going to sew this baby together. So I'll bring it over to my sewing machine. Get my junk out of the way. Just like you normally would. Lining it up. Get my thread so it doesn't pull out. Hang in there with me. I'm going to get this done. My quarter inch seam. That's not under there. It comes out. Straighten it out. Alright, look at there. Voila. Perfect fit. Just like that. Thanks for visiting us at quiltersheadquarters.com.